Brian Murphy and Chris Thomason back here at Winter Park, uh, Dallas Cowboys week, coming off of uh, arguably their worst performance of the season, the Vikings at home against the Green Bay Packers, a blowout loss that puts them down to 1-6. and six. And again, the question coming into the week, as usual, who will be their starting quarterback? Coach Leslie Frazier wasn't really willing to address that today. Um, it's a pretty good bet that it's probably going to be Josh Freeman because he was cleared medically off of his concussion. But uh, how do you read the situation, and, and what is it going to mean going forward if, uh, if Freeman indeed gets his second chance here? Well, speaking of midday Wednesday, Leslie Frazier would not say who the starting quarterback was. This is in contrast to previous weeks when he kind of said, here's my guy. He admitted that there's some uh, gamesmanship involved. With it. He said the Vikings have to have continuity at quarterback, which everybody knows, but yet he said this starter was pretty much with the Dallas game in mind. So... I don't know if you want to start putting two and two together or what have you. I mean, most people believe it'll probably be Josh Freeman because if you're going to get continuity, he seems to be a guy that they're looking at more toward the future. But uh, we will have to find out officially later. One thing we do know, and he, uh, Coach Frazier addressed this on Monday, was that it will not be Matt Castle. The man who led the Vikings to their only victory is not going to be in the mix, so it is going to be a two-man race, at least down the road, with Freeman and Ponder as the Vikings kind of decide what their quarterback's going to be. Yeah, Castle has had the best game by far and really the only good game by a Viking quarterback this year, and he wasn't that bad against Carolina in his second start, but for whatever reason, I mean, Frazier danced around the topic. He's not in the mix. I just don't think they look at him as a long-term future piece. Well, as much as the intrigue about the quarterback situation continues, the problems on defense continue to play the Vikings. Major reason why they haven't been able to come up with a second victory. Their secondary, already suspect uh, all season long, is now even more ravaged by injury. Jamarcus Sanford, Chris Cook. What's the update there on those status for this week? Neither are practicing today. Sanford has a groin strain. He said Monday he don't he doesn't know if he'll be able to go against the Cowboys. Cook has a hip strain. So really, I mean, Coach Frazier admitted he's concerned because muscle strains are not exactly something you want. He didn't say this, but everybody else is saying it. You don't want muscle strains for a secondary that's already getting burned regularly. So he's concerned and uh Harrison Smith was lost a couple weeks ago for much of the season, if not the rest of the season. So the secondary is not in good shape, especially against a team that you know likes to throw the ball like Dallas. Yeah, Tony Romo obviously is a guy that gets the ball downfield. He, he, he likes to use the screen pass, gets the ball downfield to Des Bryant. I mean, they're coming off a painful loss in Detroit where it slipped away at the end. They're 4-4 four and four coming home. There's a lot at stake for Dallas. Again, Vikings facing a tough team with a lot to play for. How do you see this shaping up down at Cowboys Stadium? Yeah, they have a lot to play for, obviously, at 4-4. Four and four. With as much mediocrity as there is in the NFC, they're certainly still very much in the playoff race. The Vikings aren't, so there's a lot of incentive from the Cowboys' standpoint, no doubt about it. Well, we'll check in next week after we find out what happens in Week 8, but the Vikings are really in a position now where they're starting to hit some tough, tough teams on their schedule. Um, they've really got to get this turned around and at least get some positive play, positive vibes. So for Chris Thomas and Brian Murphy signing off.